Hi everyone and welcome back to the kitchen. We are gonna talk about canning salsa. Now, this is a very complicated process. I am really dumbing this down because it is literally three minutes. So before you get started, I encourage you to go online, look up at the OSU extension and Google in there, put in there and say, I wanna can salsa. It will give you very detailed instructions. But here are some of the basics. You've gotta start with clean everything. When I mean clean, I mean like boiling it clean, like from gone with the wind, you've gotta boil water for that baby. It, everything has gotta be ultra clean. Second thing is, you want to make sure that you boil everything. So I even boil my strainers, I boil my lids, I've boiled my jars, everything. And then instead of heating up the whole house like I used to do, in a big cauldron of hot water. I'm gonna do it in my instant pot, but there are some tricks. So what we're gonna do here is I've got my jars, they're nice and hot. And what I have here is when you're canning anything with tomatoes, you have to watch the pH level. So I encourage you to get a pH meter or some dipping strips. I've already gone ahead and dipped everything and figured it out for my recipe. So this is our salsa we created earlier. So what I'm gonna do here is citric acid, lemon juice, something like that is gonna help preserve and make salsa a safe food to can. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a quarter teaspoon in these jars, each of these jars, and that is gonna raise up the pH to where it's gonna be safe for us to put it in a water bath. So I'm adding that's why I love using the old blender because I can just pour it in. Otherwise, I, I put this in here, I pour it in, it's just more stuff. So what I'm gonna do here is I go ahead, I'm so bad at this, by the way, I'm gonna grab my jars or my lids. Let me grab it this way for fun. So there is one of my lids, Yikes. just like that. And I'm gonna put my lid on and then I'm gonna screw on the top, very simple. And I give it a shake with that citric acid there in the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is I've taken my Instant Pot, I have a trivet in the bottom of it, because I don't wanna set the jars just on the bottom because that could cause them to explode, so you wanna give them some space. Then what I've done is I filled the water up just to where the trivet comes up, and now I'm gonna set my jars. I'm gonna continue this process till I filled it. I do not want to overfill it, so don't stack them on top of each other or any of that. Four, maybe five at the most of this size jar. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the lid on it and I'm gonna process it at high pressure for 45 minutes. When it is done, I'm gonna take out my jars. They're gonna be very hot, carefully set them on my counter, and I'm gonna let them sit there overnight. And you're gonna start hearing these popping sounds. Well, that means it's gone from hot to cold, the pressure's dropping and it suctions it and that creates the seal for safety. But the most important thing is, you must test your pH, you must make sure everything is highly sanitary and you have to follow these instructions precisely. So make sure, go check out the OSU website where you'll get all the instructions. I will even put a link on the website so it's easy for you to find the easy and simplest way to can your salsa and make it safe for you to enjoy in January and February. I hope you enjoy and get to the farmer's market and get some of those yummy tomatoes.